This is my mom's dream car. Hey y'all, welcome back to Doug's Cars. Now, we made it to the Gooding and Company auction here at the uh, plantation on Amelia Island. See all of their lovely tents and everything set up here. This is the third auction I've been to today. And uh, I've just been overwhelmed with the awesome things I've seen. So I'm gonna hop inside here and see what they have and uh, I'll take y'all with me. Might be able to see some lovely colors on those cars right inside there. Gonna go inside here in the air conditioning and get our ticket. Ooh, this looks like a very pretty Ferrari. What a amazing color that is. Uh -huh. I don't know if this is coming through as clearly as it should, but this is just one of the most beautiful colors on any Ferrari I have ever seen. That is for sure. Wow. Did you get that? Like that out. Uh, I mean, there, there are other cars here, of course, but that one is just fantastic. Finally, can get a little bit closer to this 250 GT. California, you can see the interior there, and quad pipes. There's just uh, Ferraris all over here. Another beautiful dark blue, wow. All the carburetors and the dual Fram oil filters. It's a very nice interior. A little stopwatch down there. Ferrari steering wheel, rocker switches. <laughs> Wisconsin, 1982. That probably hasn't been driven in the snow too often in Wisconsin. LS9 RS. We got some really fancy Corvettes here. Uh, this one is obviously very, very custom. And this one is obviously very not custom, but very, very fast convertible. Mm, look at that. Carbon 65, so it is custom, but this is a Z06, so it's supercharged regardless. But next to a super Legera Aston 62 okay so this is this is a later car still very similar to, to the DB5 coupe that James Bond would have driven and here's our launch of Stratos HF Stradale I can guarantee I've never seen one of these in person before this is cool it's, it's tiny it's a really small short car the latch there to open the, the rear engine compartment a Roma license plate on the back. Those look like they're off of a camper. But this thing is pretty cool. It is just really, really small. I mean, it's probably 12 feet long. We've got an Alpha. And down here, <laughs> we have an Oscar. It's a Maserati. But look how low slung this is compared to that relatively small Alpha. I mean, this is tiny. You are definitely sitting on the ground. I mean, you can see the height difference. Doop, doop, doop. From uh, this Alpha 6C with uh, beautiful matched luggage in the back seat. It didn't fit any people back there anyway. And uh, just a great interior color combination. Trafficators on the side. Obviously, Farina designed and built the, the body. And then the very classic Alpha front end. Oh, wow. Here's a 300 SL. Not a Gullwing, of course. It's got a hard top. This is a convertible. But look at that. I mean, we've got the beautiful dog dish wheel covers it's a 62 okay so this is a way way later than when they made the uh, the going coops they made these for many years after but that, that glorious and just get the intake runner on that it's just absolutely beautiful of course these cars are many hundreds of thousands of dollars if not close to a million so oh, the green interior is just glorious bunch of benzes here there's a 500D. I've driven one of these. That's a fun car. Here's one of my favorite childhood dream cars that I've never had. It's probably the most, well, let's be honest. My childhood dream car is a Porsche 959. I'm never going to be able to get one of those unless you hit subscribe. But this is the attainable one, 560 SEC. That's black over Palomino. Wow, and this is, wow. <laughs> next, next to a Stutz. <laughs> this is like a Pontiac Grand Prix underneath this. Uh, Elvis had some of these. These are fun. Um, but this is this is a nice a nice car. Look at how clean it is under the hood. I love these. And you have the star in the grill as opposed to up on the hood. There's no star up there. Love these. Great color combination. Probably my favorite black and tan. You probably won't be able to see it, but I can see the odometer. It's got 27,000 miles on it. That's why this SEC is here. 
I assume this 500D is also very low mileage. It looks amazing. And it's got the, the, those spokes are just look so good on this W124 platform. Take a close look at the studs because you've probably never seen one when we just walked past it. Really nice gray. Stutz Motor Company, uh, intricate enough wheels. It's got the, I believe their side exhausts were real. And you look at the intricate interior here. Again, this was mainly GM stuff. It's got an eight track. Of course, all the, oh, the leather smells fantastic, but all the, the comforts you'd expect, wood, AC, power, everything. And these were built in the seventies, as you'd expect. They would have everything like that, even a heated rear window and a moonroof. And if you take a look at the front, <laughs> And you can see it even looks like a Pontiac Grand Prix from back then. Everyone loves a Lamborghini, right? Here's a Diablo 6.0. Look at the dish on those wheels. <laughs> Brembo brakes and board there. And it is, of course, the all important gated manual, the one that everybody wants. Of course, that's why it's here. A great color. Gray. With this silverish gray and black interior with the, the contrasting piping. Oh, this would be this would be a really fun car to drive around in. It absolutely would be. Uh, it's a VT. Obviously, these are all all-wheel drive. And look at that exhaust. <laughs> Here's an early Lamborghini, an Islero. You've probably never heard of one. This is one of the first ones they did. It's got the knockoff wheels. Spin that. Man, it's just, just really what a great like. Oh. Ah, that color is just fantastic. I don't know if it's original or not, but it's beautiful. And this has been obviously restored. Perfect. Just a, well, the, these are all V12s. They had pop-up headlights, all the things you would expect from 1968. And these are the cars that really you know, put, put Lamborghini on the map. Because obviously, Mr. Lamborghini was very mad at Mr. Ferrari and decided to make his own cars. And this is pretty low to the ground, actually. I mean, these taillights, you would have a hard time seeing. Like, I had to crouch down to film this. They're under the bumperette, too. So, you'd have a hard time seeing the brake lights if in a modern car you're behind this guy. Spicy Beetle, Spicy Beetle. Spicy Beetle, Spicy Beetle, Spicy Beetle, Spicy Beetle. Spicy Beetle, Spicy Beetle, Spicy Beetle. Something Italian, Spicy Beetle. Something for my British friends. Here's a Ford Cortina uh, with the, the Lotus badge on the back, but it's a station wagon, Cortina, um, instead of the coupe that they had it in before. And it's left-hand drive, which is cool. I don't know that I've ever seen a left-hand drive one. I've seen a real two-door coupe uh, Lotus Cortina at auction here, I think two years ago, but I've never seen one. I mean, obviously this is not factory. This is something that someone built as a, you know, reproduction, but it's very really nicely done. It's got the, the correct striping and the, obviously the correct Lotus badging here on the side and the mini lights with the Lotus crest in the middle. And it says deluxe on the glove box lid there, but yeah, Cortina, station wagon, Lotus. <laughs> Cute. Another spicy beetle. And I found the, the room of French cars they have here. French cars have always been extremely popular in the US. And uh, here's the, no, actually, they've never ever been popular in the US. And I don't even think these were sold here for more than a couple of years in the 50s. And this one has, looks like a British tag on it. Yeah, it's got a British tag, but it's left-hand drive. It's a, oh, it's 1988. I keep forgetting that they made these things until like many, many decades after they were even like viable to not die in, in a really bad wreck. But they're cute and fun. And uh, if you know what that means, 2CV6. Two uh, it's not a V6 though, but a uh, <laughs> cute little car in the, uh, in, the, the, in the French wing here where it's just this one poor Citroen melt. Mm, there's an unlikely pairing, another Citroen Mahari, second one I've seen today, next to a Studebaker Golden Hawk. Um, a pretty cool car. These came as supercharged. This one doesn't seem to be, but they were still pretty fast for their time and loaded with luxury good goodies, you know, air conditioning, automatic, power windows, power seat, all those things that you would not have ever gotten in the Mahari over there, ever. This is my mom's dream car, all time dream car. So as a result, I've always wanted one too. I mean, what else can you say? It's got the, it's got the rouge wheels. It's got the plaid interior with the gullwing door, of course. Uh, I don't even want to get close to it because it's it's listed as 1.5 to 2 million. 
<laughs> it's just glorious. Oh. The steering wheel flips so you can get in. And look at the little thin gear stick there and the turn signal and all the gauges and everything. And, and then these air vents up here and the beautiful 300 SL badge on, on the back. Little tiny tail lights on these. But the eyebrows over the wheel arches. Anybody want a barn fine 82 Kuntak LP500S? Yikes. Um, well, that, that'll buff right out. Gosh, who would let their car get this nasty? Uh, this is a lot of information on an iPad that's crooked and not going to bother y'all with that. And look at the trunk back there, a little tiny trunk, and dirty carpeting. Man, this thing is in disrepair, but it's still a glorious car. And I would love to park this in the rain for a little while and let the rain wash it off. I wonder if it's red underneath, like in Cannibal Run. And y'all know me, I am a Land Rover guy. So I got to film this NAS. I assume it's an NAS. Yeah, AC automatic. This is an NAS. I will have a badge on this side with the number, number 2018. Uh, uh, for NAS, you know, these five-spoke alloys that I always love, and well, it's, a, it's a Colorado. It's a good vehicle to have in Colorado, but it probably is a little rusty because of that, but good-looking car, good color. I don't really remember seeing one in this color before, but I assume it was factory. I mean, yellow was always the... It's from an estate. No, it doesn't say anything about, about the color. Uh, if you look, let me know what color this is if you know because I like this color a lot and it looks like it's been on there a long time So it's probably factory correct Very nice Land Rover I mean Rover That is not a gated manual because it's a BMW, but it is a manual and it's got throwing stars And let's take a look at the back. It's a CSI. These are super super rare They made an 850 CI that most people could get but look at how leathery soft buttery soft that gathered rushed leather is, it's black, ivory. This is this is an expensive car. Whatever they're trying to start over there in the staging lanes is not starting and I feel bad. So yeah, 125 to 150. It's even got the phone. <laughs> but what a, what a beautiful car. Oh, they got running. Golf clap. Ah, it was the Healy that they, that was making all that noise. But it's next to this really cute little Auto Bianchi. I don't think I've ever seen one of these before. It, it's tiny. I mean, I guess you could fit. Oh my gosh, it's actually got a back seat. No, thank you. I don't think it even sit, fit in the front seat. I and mean, the seat's only an inch thick. Wow, oh, that is tiny. <laughs> 40, oh, 60 to 80 thousand dollars. Yeah, no. I wonder if that Daytona and that Bronco ever thought they'd be sitting next to each other at an auction. There's a bunch of cool older era, newer than brass era, but older era cars here too that. Uh, you know, I, I just, I mean, this is a Chrysler. It's beautiful. Obviously, this has been rallied. <laughs> Another Chrysler. Wow. And uh, this one is obviously a Chrysler. It's an Imperial. And look at that grill and those pod headlights. It's just smiling. Now, this is the third auction we've done today. And honestly, it's hot in here. Um, it was by far the most expensive. It was 40 bucks to get in. It was 25 this morning, and then it was free to go to RM Sotheby's, which was awesome. And it was totally air conditioned. Yep. We've been looking for something to drink, just some water, right? Yeah, just to follow. I don't know. I, you know. There's a lot of cool stuff here. I mean, obviously, this is fantastic. But, you know, when I was filming that Gullwing, I'd been in there for like two minutes, walked past a couple of guys who were working the place. And then after two minutes, they're like, You can't be in here. You gotta leave. I was like, what? And like, this is shut down. You gotta leave. I was like, You didn't say anything to me when I walked in. Ah, uh, coffin nose cord supercharged. These things are way ahead of their time. They had a transmission mount in the front with a pre-selector gearbox, pop-up headlamps, and oh, it's a good, like, you can see why they call it a coffin nose because of the way the front came out like that. It's got spats in front of the wheels. If you look at the shifter there to the right of the steering wheel, you would move that little ring into the gear and then depress the clutch. It pre-selected the gear. These things were notoriously unreliable, of course, because this was, you know, like 1937, and yeah, the technology was just not really ready yet. That is a 37. Great color, though. Great car, front-wheel drive, and just way ahead of its time. I love it. Uh, we found the auction tent. Must not hold my hand up. Do not hold up your hand. I have to be on the telephone at 
Let's finish this one out. This is a nice Porsche Speedster. Can you start waving this around real quick? No, no do, not, do not put your hand up. No, 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 no. $250,000. Well, you just have to put it on Chris's credit card. Oh, okay. $250,000 for the third and the last time, ladies and gentlemen, I sell the Speedster at $250,000. Oh, so I thought they might get another bid in. Thank you. All right, we're going to go find something to drink because it is hot as Hades in here. 460 now. Do not raise your hand. I wish they moved the boom camera out of the way so we get a better picture of that Daytona. 455, 460, 460, 465. My buddy Joe works here and he got us a couple of drinks. And uh, I thank him for that. So thank you, Joe. 470, 475. And these things used to go for a million. 475, the tiny, tiny <laughs> 475. Two and a half is not fair at this stage. <laughs> 470, David, you have 470. I'm happy to take 475. 475. 480. 485. 480 here. 485, 490. 490, 495. 495, 500. 500, now 10. No more fives. Five ten if you like the bid. Five hundred here. Five hundred thousand dollars. David, you have the bidder. Five hundred thousand. It goes without saying that we're in the market at five hundred. I'm having to take ten. I'm having to wait a little bit. Well, you count your money. <laughs> Great car. It's being sold. Five hundred. He's giving them all the time in the world. I just said no to him. So I want 510. Mm. Yeah, no, if you don't ask, you don't get some. Isn't that? I've found that all through my life, really. Take it 510. It's not a great increment, is it? You won't regret a 10. <laughs> Madam, give him a nut. You're blowing a bit, aren't you? You don't have to apologize, sir. Thank you for your bidding. 500, you're out and you're out. I'm being fair to both of you. The bid is at 500,000, and I'm going to be selling at 500,000 for the first time. One bid might do it. 500,000 for the second time. 500. Oh. No, nope. we've said no here. We've said no there. I have 510. Yes, 510 we've got. Nope, and we're gone. You don't ask, you don't get. 510. Now he's just reading himself. You've got 520. This is good. You don't need me. I go home. I see, yes. 520. I'm 13. What is that? 520, you have a bid. 520. $520,000 for a long time. What? This is still out of $500 for a long time. It's against you. Yeah. You have to be, David. $520,000 <laughs> for the first time. $520,000 for the second time. $520,000 for the third. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. $530,000. Yes. $530,000. Thank you. Oh, oh. $530,000. We might be here all night, folks. 530. 540 now. 530. I've got to at least see this bid through on this clip. Yeah, I've got you. 540. We got another sales for now. 540 in the front. Got it. 540,000 first time. Second time. Third and last time. 540,000 dollars. All done. Oh, congratulations. Yep. All right. Well, that took a million years, but it's still got actually 40 grand out of it, so I guess that's worth it. Is it worth it? 
Yeah, 40 extra grand. Nice. Like, yeah. Spicy, spicy fiat. Oh. Oh. I wonder, I wonder where Leaf is. He, I hope he's in here. A beautiful color. Marina blue. Yes. Marina blue. Marina blue. Awesome. I'll take two of them. Close ratio gearbox concentration. Our power brakes that benefits from a superb show quality restoration by noted Corvette specialist. An ideally specified Corvette is with NCRS. All right, let's see what this one goes for. Uh, I need to come over here and get my uh, apple juice. Another car with a little color scheme. Ah, much better. Oh, this is good apple juice. Uh, the Chevrolet Corvette, I have an absolute TV. I'm going to start straight in at a very lowly 100,000, and I will take 10. The bid is with me at 100. 427, 435. Local car, at least it's got a Florida tag on it. That's, so it won't be rusty underneath. It certainly won't be rusty on top. I'm out at 130. You've seen the bit. Have you both seen the same bit now? Yes, you have. Then we'll take the order of 130. 130. 140 now. 140 in the white hat. 150 now at 140. Oh, it's a 40. 140, your bid. 2745. 140. Yeah, that's going to be 140. You almost match the car with your shirt and your hat. At 140,000. Your bid. 150. 150 on the left. 160 to that. Probably happened. 155. 155. Let me know you know all the weights on it, you know, everything they have to. Straight up in the air. Yeah. 160 now. To my left. It's the first time it's been moved out of the way. You can actually like see the cars. Cars in the market at 160 thousand dollars. On my left. 46. And with that, I am headed out. Our friends uh, are having a dinner party for us tonight. Steaks on the grill. So uh, I've got to go get ready for that. I can come back to the auctions tomorrow because I've got my bracelet on. Man, after I had one drink, cooled off a little bit in front of that AC unit, which hopefully didn't ruin the sound too badly, I felt much better. And I'll be coming back. So thanks y'all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my trilogy of auctions today culminating here at Goodings. Uh, some good prices, some not so good prices. And uh, I've got all weekend long to film for y'all. So please hit subscribe if you haven't. Come back and watch my other Amelia Island. I'll be at the Concours. I'll be at Cars and Coffee. I'll be at Radwood. I'm gonna be at the Concours de Lemons. You're not gonna miss it. Hit subscribe and come back and I cannot wait to bring you that content. So have a great day. Bye.